here today on Kimberley. This is a John Alden Malabar sloop, 33, 34 foot. Built at Wing On Shing Shipyard in Hong Kong in 1959. She is antique. Had a major refit 2000, 2001, where the interior was totally taken out. Bottom man and center line rebuilt. Rig replaced, new interior, all new fittings, systems. She's in excellent condition, has been wintered, wintered ashore in a shed every year since her refit. It's been very well looked after. So you can see on the foredeck, this is a yacht laid teak deck, glued over a marine plywood sub deck. And the seams of this have been done with an epoxy mix of graphite which makes for a low maintenance teak deck. You don't have to worry about butyl rubber letting go and causing leaks. We've got a Lofren's manual uh, electric windlass with a remote control and stainless stem head fitting with bronze fair leads. You can see here, varnished teak tow rails and covering boards all round with stainless steel stanchions. Looking aft, there's the varnished teak coach roof combings. Coach roof decks are all new and sheathed plywood. Varnished teak four hatch and scrub teak grab rails. She's had a hearth and tracks system fitted here for the boom staysail, which makes handling her very easy. And down here we've got bronze chain plates. All refastened during the refit. Here are the turning blocks for the running rigging at the base of the mast. All Schaefer gear running the lines aft to the winch there on the coach roof deck. So everything can be done from the cockpit. This slightly uh, raised doghouse here aft where the coach roof steps up to give a bit more room in the galley. Varnished teak sliding hatch, and here we've got the clutches and an Antle 28 self tailing winch for all the running rigging. And you can see here there's uh, canvas bags for all the rope ends. Cockpit is uh, self draining, varnished teak thwarts and combings. Very comfortable, very spacious. Two pairs of sheet winches, got a pair of uh, Lumar 40 non self tailors and a pair of uh, Antel 28 self tailors secondaries there at the aft end. And the aft deck, again all Schaefer gear. These are the main sheet um, blocks. Double tail main sheet, so you've got lots of control. elegant looking yacht from this angle. Here we are, you've got uh, in the cockpit here, um, engine control panel, this is the autopilot head controller and Raytheon instruments, wind speed, depth, bits and pieces and a steering compass. So you're looking along the side decks, the swept teak, And this is the companion hatch going down below. Here down below on Kimberley. Now here to port. There's the galley. Got a deep stainless steel sink with pressurised hot and cold water. And a uh, top loading fridge. Force 10 galley stove, 
two burner gas with um, oven and grill. Lots of storage space in behind. Companion steps down. And there's also a pull out step here, which is quite a useful little extra step. Chart desk here to port, facing aft. Seat here with storage under it as well, which is quite useful. Chart desk lifts up the charts and bits and pieces. Here we've got the Raymarine or Raytheon radar, Raymarine GPS, Navtex. Uh, this is an ST60 multi display for your wind and log speed and so on. Uh, this is Furuno VHF. And here we go. Switchboard and so on underneath with battery monitors and tank gauges, everything else you need. Um, under the companion steps here is the engine. Beta Marine diesel put in in 2020. Very new, very low hours. Main saloon here. Much of this joinery was new in the refit. 2000-2001. Got nice grab rails here moving about the boat. These lockers all in solid teak. This one here is a drinks cabinet and glasses cabinet. And then in the middle of the table, the space for the ones. These settees have lead cloths here that pull out, get them into good sea beds. And behind here, storage lockers. Again, all this is all new in the refit. These uh, coach roof combings here are all varnished teak. The combings are original, they've had some repairs of some splines and so on put in. But otherwise all original. Coach roof deck. Sheaves uh, plywood. Moving forward here in the saloon is a Taylor's diesel cabin heater. Virtually new, hardly ever been used. Uh, this is where the mast goes. Here we see the mast step. There is a box that goes around this to box in the mast and all the wiring and so on. See she's got galvanised hanging knees here in way of the mast just to provide a bit of extra strength to the coach roof. Big hanging locker here to starboard. It actually contains all of the electrical systems, the master volt charger, switch panels and so on. And also big space and there's the ram for the autopilot that stays there out of the way. Uh, heads compartment, uh, Jabsco manual sea toilet discharges directly overboard and a hand basin with hot and cold running water and here's a big locker with lots of space. This door here is original, was reused during the refit. So it either fills in the full cabin or the heads. Very neat. Moving here into the fore cabin, two single B berths, four hatch above. Water tank under the V berth. Plus there's uh, storage here. Side of the hull's all been slatted out with tip, which uh, is good ventilation. Also, it looks very neat indeed. And here's these teak storage boxes. Up forward here is the anchor locker 
with the anchor windlass uh, boxed in there. back aft into the main cabin. And the companion steps going out on deck. <laughs> 